previously on Survivor UTK. After Max and Isabella flipped back to red and voted out Tanner, <laughs> the girls decided to band together and make a pact to take out the guys. Getting them out of the way would make it easier to allow one of us to win, and I think that's important. I think that <laughs> The players learned that instead of Survivor, they would be playing Big Brother all week long. This week, you're not playing for individual immunity, you're playing for Head of Household. This is Big Brother week. Grace won the Head of Household competition. I am the Head of the Household. And because of the New Girls Alliance, she nominated Steve and Killian. She chose me and Steve, which... First of all, what? Tonight, who will win the power of veto and will it be used to save either Steve or Killian from getting voted out? And who will be voted out and become the third member of the jury? Find out right now on Survivor UTK. Big Brother Week. Saying, where's, where's the total drama, total drama Island Week? That's what I want. It is now time to pick players for the veto challenge. As head of household, I myself will be competing as well as my two nominees. Will the two people from the rewards challenge also pick their competitors at this time? Julia? Uh, Jacob. And then Steve? Madison. So Jacob and Madison will also be competing as well as myself, Killian, and Steve. All right, so you six have been chosen to play in the veto competition, and it wouldn't be Big Brother week if we didn't play a classic Big Brother challenge. So today, we're playing hide and go veto. So the objective of this competition is you're each going to have three minutes individually to go hide your folder somewhere in AMV. I'll tell you the parameters and you'll have three minutes to go hide your folder as best as you can. Once everybody has hidden their folders, I'm going to give each of you individually three minutes to go out, look for somebody's folder. If you don't find it, you come back, and that's the end of your turn. If you do find one, then you still come back, and whoever's folder you found is eliminated from the competition. We will stop when there are five folders found, so everybody's but one person. Okay, so first we're gonna draw numbers for the order you're gonna go in. Okay, whoever's number one, come with me. We're gonna hide the folder. And there we go. Stop, bro. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Time starts now. <laughs> go, go, go. <laughs> Remember, you have three minutes. Veto challenge. I ended up being the first to hide and then look. Hiding was giving me so much stress because since I was first, when everyone else is hiding their folder, mine is out there. So they could be looking for a spot for their own folder and stumble upon mine before they can even search. So that was scaring me. Go, 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 go. Nope. One minute. Yeah. 
So once you walk through, I'm just... God, man. So I ended up settling for putting it up on one of the ledges by the organ and I was like, it's flat. Perhaps it'll be fine and no one will find it. We can't climb on anything? Right. Yeah. Good. Time to start. My heel's pretty good. I can walk with that, maybe. Come on. What the fuck? What is back here? No! <laughs> Are you fucking kidding me? Nineteen. So when I'm hiding my folder, it's my time to go out there. I'm thinking while I'm out there, before I, before I find a place to hide it, I should do some recon, look around, see where other people might have put theirs. Can they put it in trash cans? No. Nope. Oh shit, I definitely am not going to put this in this spot. Well, this looks a funny. <laughs> and I found a couple spots, but what I should have done was hide it first and go look because I could not find a good spot to hide it. They they started uh, telling me how much time I had left. They started counting down. 30. Oh man, I'm, I'm uh, messing this up. Hold on, I need to find another paper. That's it. And what do you know, I end up throwing my folder under a chair in the auditorium. Although there's like 500 chairs in there, it's going to get found. I know it is, but at least I still get to look throughout the entire challenge. And hopefully I can sniff out where Steve's is because that's who we all want out. All right, so now everybody is hidden theirs. Now it changes to seeking. So first Steve is going to come in here. You're going to have three minutes each to go in there and look. If you don't find one, you just come back. If you do find one, you can only bring back one at a time. Yeah, so Steve, you're first. Nice. Oh. Go, 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 go. Searching, I'm also the first one to go. And 
immediately, once I step out, the rug is folded up. And I'm like, that's suspicious. Someone could be trying to throw me off. But then I just throw it up and lo and behold, there's a folder right there. So I'm like, boom, folder found early on in my timers. Or that. That's oh, I was gonna say, like I didn't. Sorry. This is my first time seeing it. All right. And I'm sorry. Five. Two minutes. Yeah, you can. Not worried about it. Okay. Hey guys. Okay, I for us. When the door opens, your time starts. Yeah. And his name is John C. Because <laughs> I ran around to everywhere I tried to look. For where I would have hidden it, and there was none. There was no folders hidden anywhere. Oh! That's fine, that's fine, that's fine. You can't touch it. Wait, that's fine. <laughs> you found it. But, you can't. but then I like went over to the other side. I was flipping this table over. I saw it because there was like a folder there. And I reached for it, and right before I got grabbed it, Nate told me time was up. So I put the table back down and didn't get a folder. So close. You did not grab it? Yes. Okay. I have to bring this back because it has to be Jacob with Juliet's and I want them to win this. Alright. Okay. There you go. So I know I'm out, but hopefully Jacob and Juliet stay in now. But that's, that's my piece. Rude. Okay. So, halfway through the competition, um, People told us in the auditorium that they had it rented um, and we don't want to invade their space, obviously. Madison and Grace both had their folders still hidden in the auditorium. So what we're going to do is we're going to take everybody's folders, give them back to them, give all of them a chance to rehide them just in the hallway and the rooms leading into the auditorium. Okay, so the first folder found and the first person that's out of this competition is Killian. Yeah. All right, second folder found, next person out of this competition is Jacob. We're going to grab everybody's folders and we're going to give all four of you the chance to rehide them somewhere in the new parameters. Uh, Jacob and Killian, since both of their folders were already found, will be eliminated. And uh, Madison, Grace, Juliet, and Steve will be the only people left seeking and will still play as normal. And just go until there's one person left. And yeah. There ends up being a complication with just UT and uh, what we're doing. So there's a complication. I don't even get to search. I don't have a chance to influence the challenge at all. All I hope is that the people competing can find Steve.
someone scary. finds that, like, props on them. I just been Steve's, which is very good news. Holy shit. <laughs> so we had to rehide all of our folders in the main lobby area. And so that was even harder because it was even less space. So I was like looking around and the hand sanitizer things are about like the same size as a folder. And I was like, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna slide it under there. We will not make those maintenance workers clean this up. We will clean it up ourselves. We apologize in advance. Since Juliet had the chance to hide hers, but in the first round she didn't have the chance to find them, we're letting her go first, and then it's going to continue the cycle and we'll go back to Steve, uh, just to make it more fair for everybody, I think. Second time around, the first thing I do is I check on my card because now the stakes are a lot higher with uh, Killian and Jacob out. There's a folder right under it and I'm like, no way someone did not see mine and then put it right there. So I'm like, I'm golden. Awesome. I can't take it, right? You can you can move them, but you can't take both down. So I go look, and then I find another folder, in tucked into a, a folding table. So I was like, I found two. I'm gonna take this one, leave the one under mine. Loki just helped me out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the best at fucking hide and seek. And so I was like, I could take this folder, but then I was like, if I leave it, someone will lift it up, see that one folder, take it, and not even notice mine's there. Oh my god, Jesus. Well, I found the last two, and the one is under mine, but they didn't realize it. I hope they didn't realize it. So if someone moves that hand sanitizer, they're gonna take the one on the floor, and I'll look under. I got some in the bag. This is my second search. Yeah, sure. Everything say to the camera? Steve's going home tonight. Okay. 
So, that was a fun challenge. That took a really long time. So, hopefully, we're going to be out of here by 1130. Uh, 10.38. All right, okay. So, first person eliminated was Madison. Madison, you're out. Next person eliminated was I was just gonna reveal this one anyway. So that was gone forever. The winner of the power of veto is Grace. Congratulations! We got Grace. Congratulations. I love my various Many necklaces. Good job. We're going to go to the library for the veto meeting and then try to counsel or eviction or whatever. I just lost so slimly to Grace, but Jacob Killian and Juliet were out early, so I was okay with it. I hope Grace, if, I don't know if she'll take me down, but if she does, she should put up Jacob. But even if Killian and I stay up, the votes should go for Killian. If they don't, then my time on this game's over. Had a fun big brother week. I'm still nervous because I still fear that Grace, for some reason, is gonna take somebody off and put me up just because I've heard that. Um, I really hope though, if that does happen, like either Killian or Steve are probably more likely to be voted out than myself, but just having that possibility really freaks you out a little bit. I really don't hope my overplaying in the past, like, Literal couple of days comes to bite me in the butt, but if it does, I'll go out with a smile. But I don't think it is. Oh, famous last words. <laughs> I'm still, I still feel pretty comfortable with Steve's gonna go home and on me. Whether or not that is misplaced, we'll find out probably in 10 minutes. But that's it, that's all the cards fall. See, now that's what I'm talking about. Wins on wins, and that's it. I won the the memory challenge to be for the big brother week, got the, the head of household, and then we had the veto challenge today. I had zero confidence in myself to win that challenge. I knew I was gonna put up Steve, because who wouldn't? And I put up Killian as like a countermeasure. Um, we're just saying how like our biggest physical threats are the guys, and like obviously, us three come first like i trust all of you guys we're all on the same page with everything mm -hmm. the guys are no longer and none of the guys are my priority anymore no me too i mean because when you think about it is steve really gonna play his idol for any of us no, no. he, he said he'd do it for tanner and he, he didn't. didn't if we assume that it's going to continue being physical challenges mm -hmm. a woman is not going to win this game yeah. unless we band together and get rid of the dudes this is the veto meeting I have nominated Steve and Killian for elimination, but now I have the power to veto one of these nominations. I have decided to not use my veto. <laughs> Hold on my sunglasses, it's a magic plan. The veto meeting has now been adjourned. It's not looking good for me. Hopefully, votes stay the same. Grace and Killian can't vote, so it should be Madison, Savannah, Avery, and literally one of Max or Isabella. If they vote Killian, I'm in. Or Juliet can use an extra or steal a vote, and this could go very bad for me. So, I decided not to use my veto because if people are smart, they'll make the right decision and vote Steve out. This might be our only chance to get him out. And that's what I think people should do. Alright, so Steve and Killian have been nominated to be eliminated. Uh, each nominee will have just a moment to give a speech about why they should stay in this game. Steve, you're up first. Uh, I just want to say thank you guys for a fun game. Uh, it's not looking good for me. Very respectable put me up here. Uh, obviously, I kind of went too crazy on the challenges, but I kind of feel like that's all I've done. 
but I guess it looks another way. So, I don't know. I got nothing really to say. Just thank you guys. Okay. Um, my brothers, both big and little. <laughs> <laughs> I've enjoyed playing this game with you. Um, again, it's one of us two, so it's not gonna be, you know, it's not gonna be like a big reveal. It's someone else, if you know it's one of us. Uh, same thing as Steve, I don't know what the hell to say up here. Um, you know, I've been with some of you guys from the very beginning. I feel like I've, those I haven't been with, I've tried to talk to, you know, I feel like I've got along well with anybody, with everybody. Um, yeah, I mean, fucking, we, we, we've had fun, you know, we've had fun, we've played some games, we've had some tribals, guys, we've had some times and memories, um, <laughs> and I hope you have it within yourselves to, to, have, to keep, me, keep me in this game, guys. All right, now, one by one, you'll go into the diary room, uh, cast your vote. Come, I'll come in here and reveal who is voted out. Avery, you're first. Shout out my family and friends for watching this. I vote to evict Steve. I feel lied to. Avery came into my house and looked me in the eye and told me you didn't have an advantage. So today I'm going to choose to evict Steve. Shout out my mom, my nana, my dad, my family who's watching this, and anyone who's still watching on episode eight. However, I and shout out Nate. <laughs> I vote to evict. I vote to evict Steve. Shout out mom and dad, my grandma, and Y Y and Isla. Love you guys. With this new girls group coming, I need to prove my loyalty to that, and I think that that will take me further in the game. So unfortunately, I vote to evict Steve. Um, I vote to evict Steven. Steve. Um, I vote to evict Steve. Hey, shout out Grace's parents. She can't be here to talk to you today, but she is so glad that you're watching. I vote Steve. All right, all of the votes are in. Once I reveal the vote, the evicted player will have just a few moments to gather his belongings and walk out the door. So by a vote of seven to zero, the ninth person voted out of Survivor UTK and the third member of our jury is Steve. No one's getting this shit now. <laughs> well, I would say it was fun, but I thought I trusted people, so. Juliet, have fun with that item. See you guys. Bye. All right. Yeah. So I'm sitting here with Steve. He was the ninth person voted out this season. Uh, the third member of our jury now. Steve, you're voted out. Uh, seven to zero. Did you expect it to be unanimous tonight? Not at all, Nate. I kind of expected I was going home tonight. Yeah. Once I knew I was on the block, um, and once I didn't win veto, I kind of figured it was done for me. But seven to zero is kind of wild. You no. didn't end up playing your idol. Uh, why was that? To you could have guaranteed at least one more round in this game, but. You ultimately, you ultimately decided not to. What, what was the thought process? Well, I came in, and I knew I was competitive. I knew I was going to be a ballsy player. And so I, I bet on myself, and it didn't pay off in the end. And am I, am I happy about it? No. Can't say I didn't expect it. I saw it coming. So Betting on yourself to win the veto competition. Mm -hmm. Okay. So just being voted out, uh, who do you in this game feel most betrayed by? Uh, I mean, I'm, I'm going to have to say the remaining members of the core four, so Madison and Savannah. But it's nothing against them because, once again, I was lying to them the entire time. But I was kind of shocked to hear that's seven to right. zero. Well, you're now a member of our jury, so you will go to the jury house. We'll see you back here on finale night coming up in uh, probably just about a month. So uh, if you want to see the full interview with Steve, we don't have one. So that, that was it. 
But uh, catch us next time when uh, we have the superlative challenge. That's always always a good, very entertaining one. Catch us next week, next Thursday at 7 p.m. Uh, Eastern. I'm Nate Menzel from outside the Survivor UTK house. Don't be a bitch. Good night. Oh, I need to say, like, I'm Nate Menzel. Can you outside. see my balls? <laughs>